In our final session, we'll focus on the patient experience and the benefits of adopting integrated workflow solutions and data collection to help understand the patient's history, improve decision-making, and ultimately personalize care and satisfaction for each patient. Hi, I'm Bruce Rivers from Washington, D.C., and today we're going to talk about elevating the patient experience. I retired as a colonel. At the time, I was running the uh, Army's uh, refractive surgery and uh, research program, uh, the Warfighter uh, Refractive Surgery Program. I think one of the things I was concerned about with uh, getting out and trying to join a practice was whether I'd be able to practice medicine uh, the way I'd like to. And I, I, I really wanted to do things a different way. I wanted us to, to really offer a premium experience and I didn't want to sacrifice any of the things that we do here. And so that was really what, what drove me to decide to open my own practice. From an efficiency perspective, um, I have less, less people now, but I think I'm more efficient. And I'm more efficient because, you know, we spent the time and money in having a, a very solid network, and we spent the time and money in making sure that we had a system that was gonna um, allow us to be paperless and allow us to be very efficient in the way we operate. Okay, we're ready for you. This is the first document you're going to sign. Okay. This is... And I think patients like it a lot as well. I think patients find it interesting that, um, you know, we're able to do all of this. And I'm, I think they really feel like we're a state-of-the-art place when they see that yeah. everything is integrated. Follow me. Yeah, thank you. I was blown away. It was fresh. It was clean. You know, from the beginning of meeting the receptionist, to, you know, the wait time. I didn't have to wait a long time. And they see that there's really not been a lot of um, conversation um, between me and the techs. All there is, there is but the way it looks like is, is just, we've kind of had this seamless handoff. And, uh, and I think they, they really like that. Well, I'm in the medical background. You know, I'm from, you know, 25 years of hospice work, doing home care, and so customer service, is a pet peeve of mine. The marketing portion of starting a practice, you know, I think we initially kind of underestimated how difficult it was going to be. Learning a lot about SEO um, and, and how important that is to, to drive people to your website, that has really been a game changer for us to, to make sure that we are starting to show up in, in people's searches, um, that our website is very easily found. Um, so all of those things really, really matter. One thing I wasn't prepared for was all the tests that they were, you know, scheduling me for. And I was like, oh, okay. And, you know, just basically just to check my eye, make sure that, you know, what the referring doctor had wrote was exactly what was needed. And, but the experience from the beginning was just exceptional. Okay, so that goes to the doctor. The feedback we've gotten from patients has been they've never had as many tests from any other eye exam. They've also said that they feel that we have the most technology that they've ever seen. Red light. Once I came here, I received thorough knowledge that gave me great understanding, comprehensible understanding, so I would know exactly which direction to go and what to expect and they think it's pretty slick that everybody's got iPads and there's no paper involved. Uh, so patients have really, really liked uh, their experience. And that's what we were actually here all the time. And so it tells us that we're, we're actually on the right track. From the entrance of the door, it has been amazing. The professionalism, the expertise, the intelligence, 
the quality, the standard, some would say this practice has the potency of becoming great. I would say they've realized it. In every exam room, we have a computer and a monitor. Um, typically, when the patients are brought into that room, the tech pulls up that patient's information so that when I walk into the room, Zeiss Forum is already open. Very nice to meet you. So, what brings you in today? Well, I'm thinking about um, like a LASIK surgery. Okay, yeah, okay. And then I can go through each test that we've done, explain to them why we did the test, explain to them how I feel about the results of the test. On the iPad, uh, there's a couple things I use on the iPad for refractive view out. So the first thing is the um, patient education. There's uh, the Zeiss Appellate, which allows me to walk through the differences between PRK, uh, LASIK, and SMILE. Bubbles. And in essence, what it does is it, it 3D prints, basically it 3D prints a contact lens shaped piece of tissue in your cornea. And then I go in and kind of separate those, those bubbles through a small keyhole incision. Smile, the reason I like smile is because I think it's the best of both. Hi, you're all set? How did your evaluation go today? It went great. It went well? Yes. Is there any follow up needed? Um, I would like to schedule for the surgery. Awesome. Patient experience is, is everything. I've been in scenarios where I've seen a patient had a very good result visually, uh, but their experience was not good. And um, it, that can overshadow uh, a, a great result. And so you want everything. You, you want to have a great visual result. You want the patient to have a great experience. You know, um, when I came for my surgery, you know, what kind of music do you like? So the whole experience was the professional cleanliness and just courtesy of, you know, their, and I, like I said, I'm big on customer service. That's really one of my pet peeves, and they delivered it. Uh, from a you know, surgeon perspective, having actually patients have a great experience helps you with surgery. Uh, the more relaxed a patient is, the more excited about a patient is about coming to your practice, um, it really goes a long way in making the experience fun for everybody, uh, because ultimately that's, that's from a business perspective, um, that, that's, that's, that's going to help you out, you know, that's going to get you where you want to be. So I, I love uh, doing surgery on someone who's super excited to be here, um, you know, they, they've got their phones out, they've got their friends that have come to watch and their friends are taking selfies, uh, and that's what you want. You want it to be a fun time for everybody, the staff's involved, um, and, and those are the days that are really, really nice. I would say that the experience is just as important as the visual result. My name uh, is Andrea Russo. I come from Brescia, Northern Italy, and I'm very happy to be part of the Zeiss Innovation Week 2022. I started my practice six years ago here in Brescia, starting from zero, and it was a great satisfaction to me to raise my clinical activity, and we are now scaling on a country level. We have a very tight schedule. We start early in the morning, we end late in the evening, and we do more or less 50 eyes. And in order to achieve that, standardization and digital workflow is phenomenal and pivotal. So in our practice, uh, we try to make the patient experience uh, as best as possible. Just the fact that uh, they are given a card that is read by all the equipment uh, is loved by the patients. And we get rid of paper, so everything is done behind the scenes uh, with the cloud, and this is possible to be achieved only with uh, this kind of digital level in the practice. Federica, buongiorno. 
So this is a case uh, of myopia. This is a moderate myopia, minus 3 and 75 right eye, minus 2 and a half in the left eye. We also double check all the corneal parameters, such as the case and the pupil diameter. Ok. Allora, Federico, ti spiego un po' come funziona. Qui a sinistra apri pure gli occhi. Qui c'è il primo laser. Ci sarà un anello bianco di luce con in fondo una lucina verde che si avvicina sempre più fino a quando sente pressione. This is the femtosecond laser, so we are planning an 8.2 mm flap with 100 micron depth. If you just think about the standard deviation of the femtosecond laser, the one which is performing the best is the Visumax. This is well published in the literature because the standard deviation of the depth of the cut is 4 microns, which is very much reliable and so I know where I am. But uh, thanks to, let's say, the partnership with the Zeiss company, I could enlarge the, the skills and the toolbox I have now in my hands. And patients know this very well, and this is what they are asking. So if I think about the business standpoint, the Presbyon accounts for 40% of our income. It was a game changer in our practice uh, because, uh, because the population we have in this area is seeking presbyopia correction. And now presbyopia correction uh, and takes about 40-45% of our business. So we could find a better solution for this uh, huge group of patients. Uh, so it's a good marriage between the company, the practice uh, and the communication. Everything is very much interconnected, uh, but it's very important. Mi chiamo Piero Varasci. È molto emozionato perché eh, ho fatto questa questo intervento e da quando ero piccolo eh, ho avuto un problema e sono stato operato, quindi ero diventato strabico con l'operazione ipermetrope e quindi mi sono portato questa ipermetropia fino diciamo, a questi anni. E dopodiché un po' la vecchiaia, un po' di astigmatismo e altre problematiche ho deciso di fare diciamo, questo intervento dall'oggi al domani a passare a un cambiamento davvero radicale. So we needed the patient to understand that it's possible to correct uh, refractive errors with the laser and being able to go back to normal life the day after. So this was somehow missing in the Italian population. Su internet facendo una ricerca, ne ho visti diverse, ho valutato e ho fatto diverse visite e qui mi sono trovato su quello più, diciamo, rassicurato. E sono di a fare gli interventi, infatti nei passati tempo prima di decidere, però è qui è dove mi sono sentito diciamo più convinto. My, my mission is to make the population aware about what it is possible to do. Social media was fundamental for in order to achieve this because it's a direct channel you have with the patients. La tecnologia, il modo di... ne, ve, ne ho sentite di ogni e ne ho viste di video su, su diverse tipologie di interventi. E questo, il video che ho visto su internet, sulla nuova tecnologia, su come veniva svolta l'operazione, mi, mi ha prima incuriosito e poi convinto. You grow a population of patients, of users, of followers. So it's a community which is aware.